What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another video in our best players for all budgets series. And now we're taking a look at left backs. So these are not done in any rank, they're just done by budget and some seriously good options. Kicking us off with Akuna, as I call him Hakuna Matata. This guy is a beast. Now you're going to have to make a decision as with any position when you're staying playing with the standard GP players. You need to specialize the players. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you are using Akuna, you are using him as a passing, kind of like pinpoint crossing, a load of crosses into the box, and a big engine. You're not going to use him defensively, right? We also have our budget option. Uh, this guy is only 18,000 GP. He's an attacking fullback, but he does have some brilliant player skills, as you see there. And of course, we also have one touch and double touch, um, one touch pass, double touch, and blocker, which is very, very unique for a player that costs this little 87 overall all when we train him up like that blister and balance and acceleration and pace very very nice now speaking of pace we do also have davies this is one of my favorite players to ever use in efootball 22 23 and in efootball 2024 he looks to be even better apart from not having unwavering form this guy trains up spectacularly well he's a brilliant brilliant option if you are using him i would use him as an attacking option rather than a defensive option and that's why i'm saying about specialist positions similarly you've got zinchenko right zinchenko kind of does it all he can do everything his best position is probably a center mid but because he's down as a registered left back we do include him in this pack um of players we do include him in this variety of players here brilliant uh player card very 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 solid on the pitch actually plays way above his stats i've used him quite a bit on my profile on the xbox and he's very very nice to play with Speaking of nice to play, what we've also got Andy Robertson. This guy is an absolute beast, 120,000 GP, not that expensive, not a real defensive option, right? Yes, you can train him up, but he's more suited to just crossing balls in and a really high engine, brilliant stamina, and just getting the ball into the box to your target man. So when you are using a left or right back and you're staying with the standard cards and not legend or epics or any of those guys, you need to kind of pick exactly where you want him to be unless you have a player like Guerrero, even though this guy is probably better, again, suited as a 3-5-2 left midfielder, or maybe even as a center midfielder, depending on how you play him. If you are using somebody like this, you're not using him for kind of a jack-of-all-trades type position. You're using him as a very specific, right, I'm going to cross from the left flank in with Guerrero. He's got all the player skills that you could possibly want from him, including weighted pass and true passing, outside curler, as well as double touch and one-touch pass. It's a phenomenal card. One of my favorite cards to use in eFootball 2022, and he looks to be a beast in this as well with 35 levels at 76,000 GP. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, you're not going to be crossing the ball in with him. So that's exactly what you know what you're going to be getting out of him, right? And then last but not least, we have my ultimate left back, which is Nuno Mendes. So again, we talk about specialist positions. We talk about players. And what I mean by that, right? Just to keep it as plain as possible. I mean that if you're buying a standard card, right? And you're buying a standard left back, you have to decide before you even buy him, right? Do I want my standard left back to be an attacking left back? Do I want him to be a defensive left back? The same with a centre back. Do you want your, you know, one of your centre backs to be tall and you like good under high ball to be able to deal with target men? Or do you want him to be aggressive, fast, acceleration and balanced to be able to, you know, deal with Mbappe and Romario and them, right? So that is it with Nuno Mendes. He's kind of a guy that his defence is really, really weak, but you're not buying him for his defence. So if you're, if you don't need a defensive left back, you're going to go with one of the other options on here, right? You're going to go with a left back that has got really high defensive stats and maybe attack down the right side of the pitch because you can attack and defend with both unless you've got legends and epics and players that are 102 overall or whatever that obviously changes the, <laughs> the the whole conversation but for standard cards my biggest bit of advice to newcomers and for anybody that's struggling pick players and specialize those players you know max out what makes them special and highlight them you know turn Nuno Mendes into an attacking beast on the left flank and then worry about defense with other positions or else pick a defensive left back and ignore Nuno Mendes. But I definitely think he is an absolute beast for the price that you're getting him. Him and Davies, really, really good choices. And for defensive, you have the other options there as well. So that is it for me, lads. Hope you enjoyed this series and I will talk to you later. Peace.